In this course, you'll learn how to calculate the payback period for an energy efficiency project. The payback period is the amount of time it will take you to save enough energy to pay for the cost of completing your project. Knowing the payback period will help you determine the cost effectiveness of a project you're considering. After you reach the payback, you continue to save money. The topics we'll cover include the Act on Energy program, the formula for calculating payback, how to determine the cost of a project, how to determine incentive amounts, and how to determine annual savings. We'll also go over an example of how to calculate payback for a lighting project. Before we get started, let's go over some information about the Ameren, Illinois Act on Energy program. Act on Energy assists businesses and nonprofits with thousands of dollars in cash incentives to help cover initial costs of an energy efficiency project and help them save money on utility bills in the future. The Act on Energy program has helped Ameren, Illinois business customers save over $41 million in energy costs, achieve energy savings equivalent to powering over 29,911 homes for a year, and Act on Energy has offered more than $20 million in cash incentive funds. Now we're ready to get started. The formula for calculating the payback for an energy efficiency project is initial cost minus incentive received divided by annual savings. This formula is on the Formulas to Calculate Payback Guide located on the webpage where you access this course. This guide also contains all of the formulas we'll go over today. Next, we'll go over how to determine initial cost, amount of incentive received, and annual savings. The initial cost of your energy efficiency project includes the cost of the new energy efficient equipment you're installing, the labor to install it, and the cost to remove and dispose of any old equipment. The initial cost also includes the cost of financing the project, including interest and finance fees. You can determine your incentive amount by going to the Act on Energy Project Guide. The Act on Energy Project Guide will be able to assist in the calculation of the incentive amount. We'll be using the project guide later in this course during our lighting project example. To calculate your annual savings, you'll compare the amount you spend on electricity for your existing equipment to the amount you will spend for your new equipment. To do this, first determine your electrical load in kilowatts for the existing and new equipment. You can find the number of watts by looking at the model number on the manufacturer website. You could also use an average. Then take the number of watts used by the equipment and divide by 1000 to get kilowatts. Next, estimate the number of hours per year the existing equipment is being operated and the number of hours the new equipment will be operated. For example, your equipment may be used around the clock for six days every week, or you may only use it for eight hours per day, five days per week. Then, Multiply the electrical load of the equipment in row B by the estimated hours of operation in row C. Do this for both the existing and new equipment to get the estimated kilowatt hours per year for each. Now determine your reduced kilowatt hours per year by figuring the difference between the numbers in row D. Next, determine your electric rate by dividing the number of dollars spent on electricity for a year by the number of kilowatt hours used in a year. You will look at your electric bills to determine this information. We'll refer to an electric utility bill during our lighting project example. Now multiply your reduced kilowatt hours per year in row F by your electric rate in row G. This gives you your annual energy cost savings. The cost savings is also the cost of waiting each additional year. In other words, if you wait two years to complete a project, that is two more years you are spending more money on energy that you could be spending on other things for your business. This process is the same for a gas project, except therms are used instead of watts. The formula for calculating annual savings for a gas project is on the Formulas to Calculate Payback Guide located on the webpage where you access this course. Now let's look at an example of a lighting project to see how to calculate payback. Let's say at Bob's Deli, 
Bob is replacing a quantity of 23 lamp T12 fixtures with magnetic ballast with a quantity of 20 two lamp energy efficient T8 fixtures with electronic ballast. To calculate the payback period for this project, Bob will determine the initial cost of the project, subtract the incentive received, and divide by the annual savings amount. To determine the initial cost, Bob adds the cost of equipment, labor cost to remove the old T12 lamps and magnetic ballasts, and install the new T8 lamps and electronic ballasts, and the cost to dispose of the old equipment. In Bob's case, the initial cost of the project is $1,230. The project guide automatically calculated the total incentive for delamping at $80. Therefore, the total incentive amount Bob will receive in this example is $200. Next, Bob pulls up a copy of the Excel version of the project guide for lighting. First, he finds the description of what he's installing and enters the new lamp order code, the new ballast manufacturer part number, the number of lamps per new fixture, and the number of new fixtures. Since each fixture has two lamps and he's installing 40 lamps, this equals 20 new fixtures. The project guide automatically calculates the total incentive of $120. Second, he calculates the incentive he will receive for permanent lamp removal since he's going from three lamp fixtures to two lamp fixtures. Since he's removing one T12 from each fixture that will not be replaced by a T8 lamp and there are 20 fixtures, this equals a quantity of 20 lamps being permanently removed. Then Bob enters the wattage per lamp, which is 40 watts for each T12 lamp removed. Next, Bob will determine annual savings. On the annual savings chart, Bob enters a description of the measure for the existing and new equipment. To calculate annual savings for his project, Bob compares the amount he spends on electricity for the existing equipment to the amount he will spend for his new equipment. To do this, first he determines his electrical load in kilowatts for the existing and new equipment. Bob finds the number of watts by looking at the model number on the manufacturer website. In Bob's case, the T12 fixtures were 133 watts each. Bob is replacing 20 fixtures. Therefore, to get the total electrical load for all 20 fixtures, Bob multiplies the 133 watts per fixture by the number of fixtures, which is 20. The result is 2,660 watts, which he divides by 1,000 to get 2.66 kilowatts. Bob made the same calculations for the new equipment and determined the electrical load for the new equipment is 1.12 kilowatts. Since the lights are on for about 63 hours per week for 52 weeks in the year, Bob estimates the equipment is being operated 3,276 hours per year. Then Bob multiplies the electrical load of the equipment by the estimated hours of operation. In this case, Bob multiplies 2.66 kilowatts by 3,276 hours for his existing equipment for a product of 8,714.16 kilowatt hours per year. For the new equipment, Bob multiplies 1.12 kilowatts by 3,276 hours for a product of 3,669.12 kilowatt hours per year. Now Bob determines his reduced kilowatt hours per year by figuring the difference between the two numbers in row D. In Bob's case, he subtracts 3,669.12 from 8,714.16. The difference is 5,045.04 kilowatt hours. To determine his electric rate, Bob will divide the number of dollars spent on electricity for a year by the number of kilowatt hours used in a year. Bob looks at his electric bill. After adding the total delivery service amount and the total supply amount, Bob sees that he spent $135.96 on electricity for one month before taxes. So he multiplies that number by 12 to get the amount he spent on electricity for one year. He also notes that he used 1,500 kilowatt hours in one month, 
so he also multiplies that number by 12. Then to determine his electric rate, he divides the number of dollars spent on electricity for one year by the number of kilowatt hours used in a year. This comes to an electrical rate of 9 cents per kilowatt hour. Bob enters 9 cents per kilowatt hour as the electric rate on his annual savings worksheet. Now Bob multiplies the number of kilowatt hours he reduced per year in row F by his electric rate in row G. In Bob's case, this is 5,045.04 kilowatt hours times 9 cents, which equals savings of $454.05 every year. Then Bob plugs the numbers he's calculated into the payback period formula. Bob subtracts the incentive he will receive from the Act on Energy program from the initial cost of the project. Then he divides this number by the annual savings he calculated, and he sees that the payback period for his lighting project is 2.26 years. This means that in two and just over a quarter years, Bob will save enough energy from installing energy efficient lighting in his deli to pay for the cost of completing his project. Now you can calculate the payback period for an energy efficiency project you're considering. For more information about any of the Ameren, Illinois Act on Energy programs, visit our website, call us, or email us. Thank you for your participation.